We're at South High School where tonight the 4-1 and one Sheboygan Red Wings take on Pulaski. Hello everybody, my name is Mike Martin. Joining me is a coach, Chris Wright. Chris Pulaski comes in with a really super record. They're 8-1, and one, also 4-1 and one in conference. This is going to be a heck of a ball game. Oh yeah, they're one game out. Both teams are one game out. Bayport beat Pulaski the other night to establish they're the only team left in the whole conference undefeated. Pulaski comes in surprisingly 8-1. I think it's a little misleading a little bit. I don't think the competition is the same as some of the upper teams. But you, know, you never know. They're a completely different team than South. We'll just have to see how things turn out. Now Pulaski comes in. Their leading players are underclassmen. Uh, South comes in pretty much senior laden. How is that going to play out tonight? Yeah, the, one of the best sophomores actually in the state tonight we get to see is Cody Wickman, kid. He's a sophomore. He played last year as a freshman, averaged over 10 points a game. One of the top scorers in the league. You know, him and then there's a couple of sophomores and a freshman for their team. When you look over on the other side, Sheboygan South is all seniors and juniors for the most part. And uh, completely different teams, but you know what? Pulaski's getting it done so far. Now their last game, Pulaski lost to uh, Bayport 36 to uh, 31, but they beat O'Connell Falls 76 to 29. I thought that they liked to slow it down a little bit. Yeah, I think you're exactly right, Marty. I think a big thing for Coach Schultz and his squad tonight is tempo. We want to get the pace going. We want to make Pulaski play fast. You're looking at a team that's averaging about 51 points a game in Pulaski. They want to slow things down. We want to use our athletes, get as many opportunities as possible. Whereas, you know, Pulaski wants to slow things down and work around for their be uh, best, best shot. Hey, their coach is a guy by the name of Dave Shaw. His dad used to be the coach at uh, Mantwalk, Brian Shaw. So he comes from a good legacy of coaching things. And Dave's been around the block for a number of years, just the second year here. Now talking about leading scores, they have two sophomores shooting or scoring in double figures and a freshman averaging 10.2. South on the flip side has three seniors averaging in double figures and that's where we get that senior versus underclassman uh, mentality. Not only that, Marty, they, South goes even deeper than that. They got seven guys averaging over six points a game. So, they, I mean, they get really pick up the scoring and they get a lot of contributions from a lot of guys, you know, compared to, like you said, where Pulaski's just got a couple double figures things. So I think it's all about tempo today, who can control it. Uh, South's really been on a roll of late. St tough loss last week against Homestead. And for the most part, they've been getting things done. All right, with that, we're going to step out. When we come back, we'll have the starting lineups and the tip-off for tonight's ball game. Well, your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors, exposed cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today, and with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. If you're looking for a way to earn some extra cash, why not become a census taker for the 2010 census? These temporary part-time jobs offer good pay and flexible... Yeah, come on, you promised. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. Kenny, 
bujuk Maria ma, dah hamun gunyo wah. First, for the visiting Sam Red Raiders. The lineup, so we'll listen to him introduce the uh, starting lineups for the Six game. 6'3", three, senior number three, Jake Kolinsky. 5'10", junior number five, Tanner Van Evenhoven. 5'10", sophomore number 10, Jordan Steedy. 5'10", freshman number 22, Luke Van Lennon. And 6'3", sophomore number 33, Cody Wickman. Red Raiders head coach, Dave Shaw. And now for your starting lineups for your Sheboygan South High Red Wings. 5'10", senior, number five, Ethan Berlin. 5'10", junior, number 15, Taylor Ditter. 6'2", senior, number 21, Riley Tudis. 6'2", junior, number 31, Thomas Murray. And 6'2", senior, number 35, Cal Velusky. Red Wings are coached by Tim Schultz, assistant Andrew Dam. Manager for the Red Wings, Nate Zaluski. Our officials for the game, as assigned by the FRCC, Scott Otten and Terry Verstrade. Our trainer this evening from Prevea Health, Maggie Bauer. For all of your athletic injuries, see the doctors and physical therapists at Sheboygan Orthopedic Associates, where relationships happen every day. Tonight's game supervisor, Christopher Hein. All right, there you see the... Uh Starting lineups coming out on the floor, getting ready to uh, tip off tonight's game. You may have heard the uh, officials, Terry Verstrati with the ball in his hand, Scott Utton at the bottom of your screen. Uh, Scott is from Sheboygan. Terry is uh, from Sheboygan through Oosburg now at Kiel. <laughs> and uh, he's telling me he did, uh, I think, three or four D1 football games this year and uh, had three Division three games. So he's been uh, pretty busy in the college football ranks along with doing high school basketball. South controls. And he'll go first on offense. Ethan Berlin on a skip pass. So I had his ball pass stolen away. And uh, Ethan with a block on Tanner Van Havenhoven's shot. You've been waiting to say that name all night. And that's right. Another turnover by the Southsiders, not a good start for them. And uh, Pulaski noted for their strong defense and deliberate style of play. Chris mentioned that in the opening. Well, that's Wickman, 33 right there. Watch him, he's a good player, sophomore. One of the better ones in the state. There's your uh, basically uh, backdoor cut. There's a case, Chris, where if the kid catches the ball, he's got a shot underneath the basket, but he dropped it and that was enough for the defense to recover. Spin move on the inside by Van Hevenhoven and uh, he couldn't get it to go and South shot is off no good and Pulaski with the rebound. A minute and uh, 15 seconds in, no baskets. <laughs> South gets down there and they're throwing, 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 shooting and uh, Pulaski comes down and basically passes it around three times. Nice open shot, but it's missed by uh, Steedy. South on the steal. Berlin with a good move, faked the shot, got the defender up. That was Wickman, and uh, Berlin made the shot, and he's going to get a chance at a three point play. Well, as I mentioned in the opening, uh, both teams are. Basically one game out of first place. We've got uh, eight and one Pulaski and seven and three South. Couldn't get the three point shot down. Free throw. A good little exchange out there. Lean in shot and an offensive wow. foul called on uh, Wickman and that's gonna be his second and that's huge. 
I actually, Chris, thought that was a pretty good call. I don't know how you felt about it, but. That's a pretty tough call. Well, as a Sheboygan uh, South basketball fan, we certainly like that call. Yeah, it's a big call. At two minutes in, the uh, best player on the squad for Pulaski out. Uh, Berlin with a not a very good pass, but it is kicked by a Pulaski player, and uh, South will keep it. Yeah, they have two sophomores and a freshman leading their score in this year. I didn't realize they were so young when I looked that up today, you know, did my research, uh, I was shocked. Yeah, Coach Shaw last year took his team to a second place finish, surprisingly, and got them in there again this year. Tudis comes up with the loose ball and puts it up and in. Four to nothing south early on. Taylor Ditter in the ball game, kind of snuck in when we weren't looking, number 15. Actually, Taylor Ditter didn't sneak in, did he, Chris? He was in the starting lineup. Ditter on the rebound, uh, pardon me, uh, Berlin on the rebound. Lusky, good feed inside to O'Reilly Tudis and a soft touch by him. He puts it in, and it's six to nothing, and we get a 30-second timeout by the Red Raiders. Good timeout there by Coach Shaw. As I mentioned in the opening, uh, Dave Shaw is, I believe his dad is Brian Shaw. He was a coach at Manitowoc prior to Coach Christensen. Chris Christensen, of course, is now in Howard's Grove. And... Uh, he had okay. a very nice career at Manitowoc, Yes, too. he did. And I remember Dave playing. That's, ugh, ugh. That's just showing how long ago that was. He was a nice little left-handed shooter. And uh, like I said, he's worked his way kind of around in a couple places coaching. And uh, now made his way to Pulaski, which is a you know, nice little subdivi you know, subdivision type of Green Bay. And, uh, you know, you're going to get athletes in there every once in a while. As I said, being in his second year, he definitely, you know, you're not talking about. He's a got a record of 159 and 46 as a varsity coach. At uh, Pulaski, he's 7 and 17. That was last year's record and then tack in this year's. So uh, you're right, he's been around. 17 and 7. Last year. Yep. So he'd be about 25 and 8 so far at the school. And Tudis, a good uh, save, but then South not able to control. And we're going to get a foul on Taylor Ditter, I believe. Foul does go on uh, Taylor. Well, I got Pulaski 0 for 5 so far, Marty. You know, and that's why I thought it was a good timeout. Nothing's rolling for Pulaski. Get a timeout. Br try to break the ice a little bit here. Michael Schrader in the ball game for uh, South. South in a man-to-man -man defense. Shot from just inside the free throw line is no good by Van Lannen, but the Red Raiders get keep the ball. And Hevenhoven with it out on top. And a good feed inside in the basket. Easy two for uh, Cody Wickman. And uh, Pulaski on the board. Six to two. Tudis driving and scoring. He's had a great start tonight. He's got six points so far. And a lost shoe. He came out of the... Uh out of the stands. Off to Pulaski. <laughs> Jordan Steedy trying to get that uh, shoe on a little tighter. 
you get those kids over at St. Dominic's, they walk around with their gym shoes not tied, you know, and they start to run a little bit, and all of a sudden they're kicking shoes all over the gym? No, we have rules. Oh, <laughs> yeah? Do they follow them? Yes. <laughs> Well, Sorry we, for putting you on the spot. <laughs> one thing we haven't seen is Marcus Wilson yet, uh, Marty. Shot from outside the line is good by Wickman, a three-pointer. Eight to five. Ball tipped away. Marcus Jones trying to slip the ball inside. One thing that uh, Coach Schultz likes to do is play a lot of players. And uh, in an up-tempo game, it pays a lot of dividends. In a down-tempo game, it may not be as quite as critical. Schrader can't get it to go. Jones tips it to Riley Tudis, who puts it up and in, however. 10 to five, South doubling up on Pulaski. But it's early, 2.45 remaining in the first quarter. Nice shot by Kalinski is good. You know, Came right off, off a screen. Yeah, right on that elbow too. They probably taken a thousand shots from that elbow in the last couple years of playing basketball. Another uh, attempt at a feed inside to uh, Bluski, but the ball was tipped away and uh, Cal couldn't control it and it goes off of his hands. Pulaski will have it. Real quiet here tonight, Marty. Pretty quiet. Pulaski running their uh, exchange offense. A lot of screening, popping inside and getting open. Wow. Was Van Hevenhoven, and uh, he puts it up and in. It's 10 to 9 south. Murray's shot underneath is no good. Schrader's tip is no good. But coming away with it was Wickman. I thought he got away with the walk at the end, but uh, no call. South still with the lead, but uh, Pulaski threatening. Oh, good feed inside. No shot, the foul is gonna be on the floor, but uh, it was close. Van Lannen on a nice cut, receiving the feed. Tudis picks up his first foul. It's uh, the second team foul on South. And the ball thrown out of bounds, South will get it. Checking in is uh, Casey Alger Fieser. I think he played football, didn't he? Could have sworn we had him for football or something. I have enough trouble remembering when, the, when we're doing the next game. <laughs> <laughs> also in the game for South is uh, Mitchell Fox. Tell you, South struggling a little bit against this zone. Just not too crisp. No, it's, uh, you're right. I agree. That's better. Nice feed inside to Murray. He puts it up and in. Good penetration and then slip it to the open man when the ball gets double teamed. 12 to nine. Stolen away, Tudis. Hard to the basket, puts it up and in. Five for five from the floor. 10 points. 14 to nine, under a minute, 45 seconds and counting. See, back-to-back -back turnovers basically for Pulaski and that just, you know, when you're trying to control tempo and slow things, every possession's big and turnovers are just too big for uh, well, Coach Shaw's squad. Did you notice how Tudis is uh, playing defense on uh, Steedy? He's leaving him go. Daring him to shoot the three. Second leading score on the team. Yeah, that's uh, surprising. Rolling down to the 15 second mark of the first quarter. Pulaski pretty content to work it around.
A good cover up defense by South. Long shot by Wickman is no good. And at the end of one, South on top, 14 to nine. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. Can you? Je ne sais pas si tu as South High School, uh, Red Wings had a very nice first quarter, especially Riley Tudis. Tudis uh, leads all scorers with 10 points so far. But South on top, 14 to nine as we start action. Wickman, Short. no good. Berlin with the long rebound. Oh. Unfortunate foul by Blusky, but boy, he hit uh, Van Hevenhoven in the head pretty hard. South 7 of 12 shooting in that first quarter. Three turnovers. Pulaski 4 of 12 and three turnovers. I'll tell you, a good quarter for Riley Tudis going 5 for 5, Marty. Yes, very nice. And uh, he was uh, at the right place at the right time several trips down the court and had some real nice shots. He's coming in at 10.8 a game and he's at 10 already. I think he'll get another point. I do too. I think the average is going up. <laughs> Riley looking for the steal, didn't get it. Drive down the lane by Van Lannen is good though. Patience, patience, patience. A kick outside. Runner is up and no good by Blusky. Whoa, gliding to the basket was Kalinski for two. Senior. 6'3", senior. Sure. He's oh, got to take, Thomas has got to take, he's standing in the lane too. There's a other two you mentioned. Tudis picking up another basket and breaks a four point run by Pulaski. South started the game with a six point run and they've uh, led ever since. Kalinski broke open on the, on the elbow with a wide open shot and didn't take it. Screen, double screen, screen, double screen. There it is again. You gotta run through them. And Tudis again playing off of uh, the person he's guarding. Shot is no good by Van Lannen. And hard to the hoop is Ditter, no good. Shot, rebound, put back by Murray is no good, but there is a whistle. Foul is going to go on Van Hevenhoven. That's his first. Oh, he got eight baskets, six of them by Tudis. Berlin and. Hey, there's your Murray. man. Wilson! What a north-south game he had. He had a dandy. I think he just attended a funeral the other day. His barbers. <laughs> <laughs> Turnover by South. Fifth one. Oh, there's Double. a travel. <laughs> Double hop. Van Hevenhoven uh, shuffled the feet. Yep, two and two. 
I'll tell you that name is just starting to roll off my tongue. I may start saying it by mistake. Tanner. <laughs> <laughs> Saw a nice game the other day, Lutheran and Christian. It's always nice to go over there. Oh yeah, they treat us very nice. And uh, you're right, it was a good game. I thought uh, Christian gave him a good fight. What we both feel bad about is that we didn't get the uh, replay information to the table so the people would know when to watch. Oh, nice feed inside to Schrader and his shot is up and in and he's fouled. Kalinski commits his first foul. That's the fourth team foul on the Red Raiders. Schrader trying to finish off the three-point play. Berlin had one to start the game and wasn't able to do it. Schrader does. It's 19 to 13. South on top, rolling to the five minute and 10 second mark. Berlin almost with a steal. Inside feed is good and the basket by Steedy is also good. Tell you what, they're getting close to getting those steals and they might get them before this night's done. Ditter, underhand layup is no good, stripped away. Going hard to the basket is Van Lannen, he scores. Van Lannen. 19 to 17, Pulaski within two. Schrader hammered but no call, Ditter Rainbow jumper is no good. Kalinski can't get it in. Did her with a strong rebound though, Chris. That was pretty sharp. Bad miss for Pulaski and then a foul. Foul's gonna go on Kalinski. That'll be his second, second of the quarter. That was South's first three point attempt, Marty. Really? Yep. Holy cow. All twos. It shows good patience considering the zone. Well, I'm thinking the other thing too, Chris, is they've been able to get the ball inside pretty good. Yeah, most of Riley's shots are in and around the paint area, 12, 10 feet away or less. When I was over here uh, helping the guys set up for the North-South game, Tudis was one of the last guys out of the gym and uh, he was practicing his three-point shooting and uh, he looked good. Wilson's gonna pick up a rebound fall going nah, over the back. I don't think so. Oh, it is on Murray. For Murray, that's his first. Four team falls on South. Five on Pulaski. Just under four minutes left in the Third, second quarter, shot by Steedy is no good. Oh, oh he may have in. walked. Ugh. Murray puts it up and in. And you were right, Chris, it was close. 21 to 17. Marcus Wilson picking up the foul. Lusky coming in. Van Landen has it on top. They get it into Wickman and a Travel. feed back and a, and a walk. And that was a good call. Didn't get the ball down in time. Turnover's starting to uh, mount up for them too, huh, Chris? I just got five. Okay, that's not too bad. South on top, 21 to 17. Pulaski continues to stay in the zone. Inside feed and a short basket by Murray is good and a really great feed again. I tell you, they're finding Murray in there all day, and sometimes he's passed it out, but I'll tell you what, I would do that every time if I was him. Van Lannan's shot is no good. 
Tudis with a very strong rebound. And tipping it out of bounds was uh, Tanner Van Hevenhoven. <laughs> Tanner. Tanner. TV. Two forty-seven remaining until halftime. South on top, twenty-three to seventeen. And uh, they've played a very patient first half so far. Uh, Lusky's pass. Uh, Streams out of bounds past Belusky, or pardon me, past Thomas Murray. Kalinsky back in the ball game and uh, sitting down is uh, Don Melanthin. Uh, we forgot to mention when he got in. Dan Melanthin. Again, uh, Pulaski running the exchange. A little back cut. Good help by uh, Taylor Ditter. And uh, the pom-pom girls couldn't get away from the ball For fast some, enough. <laughs> <laughs> Lucky there's a couple of boys in that crew. They stopped the ball. The one girl is still fixing her hair. Get your head out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> or should I say, way to use your head. Ditter outside the line. Bango, baby. That was way outside. Three-pointer makes it 26 to 17, South's biggest lead. On oh, a low scoring, oh my. Oh wow, what happened there? Van Lannan with an easy two. North, or North, South just lunging a little bit there, Marty. You know, you were talking about, you know, the steals and almost having them. You know, I think in some respects, that uh, trying for the steal creates openings for uh, the other team, and you know, maybe it's not always the best thing to do that. Another turnover by South inside feed, and uh, Blusky not able to save it. Murray coming in, Wilson already in. We missed him sneaking in the ball game, at least I did. Chris catches everything. except when I'm open <laughs> on the basketball court. Pulaski working the ball around real nice, looking for the opening. South remaining in their man-to-man -man defense. It's 26 to 17. We're down to a minute and 10 seconds left in the first half. And it's been a pretty quick half, only five fouls by each club. Yes, very fast half. Uh, cleanly played for the most part. Kalinski eyed it up but didn't shoot it. And he breaks open inside and missed the layup. Wilson caught a break there. He got screened out. That's two bunnies that they've missed. Wilson couldn't wait to shoot that three-pointer. I didn't think that was a very good uh, choice of shots. And uh, Kalinski gets called for the walk on the defensive pressure by South. A break there by the Southsiders. 44.9 seconds remain. In the half, it's 26 to 19, South. Oh, good feeds inside by South. And Berlin, climbing the imaginary ladder, tips it up and in. Steedy kicks it back out. Van Hevenhoven has it on top. There's 25 seconds remaining, and I think Pulaski won't be content to take the last shot. And uh, Berlin shot is blocked, and Pulaski will have another chance at the last shot of the half. Kalinski kicks it over to Steedy's. Rainbow is no good. Tip, no good. And that's the half. South playing a dynamite first half is on top by nine, 28 to 19. We conduct a census, a count of everyone living in the job, and you could be a part of it. As a census taker, you earn good pay. More information about what's in a video game. 
Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Clear shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information about the ratings and rating summaries, go to esrb.org slash mobile. you guys were cleaning out here. Oh, we are. We're, um, sweeping. Yeah, for space aliens. Yeah, for space aliens. Well, good luck with that. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Oh, dear. I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, savings man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at choosetosave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, savings man. No, thank you. Go visit choosetosave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. Some scoring for the first half. Jake Kalinske for uh, Pulaski had four points. Tanner Van Hevenhoven had two. Jordan Steedy had two. Luke Van Lannen led the Red Raiders with uh, six. And Cody Wickman, the uh, starting freshman, had five. For uh, Sheboygan South, Ethan Berlin had four. Taylor Ditter hit a three late in the first half for three points. Uh, Riley Tudis had 12, 10 of those coming in the first quarter. And uh, Thomas Murray had six, and uh, Michael Schrader had an inside hoop, got fouled, and made the th made the free throw for uh, three points. Free throw shooting for South, they made uh, one out of two, and Pulaski did not even shoot a free throw in the first half. Uh, Chris has some uh, shooting stats for you. 
Yeah, a little strange, Marty. Both teams shot exactly the same amount of uh, field goals. Uh, the good thing for uh, South is they've got uh, five more of them made. They're 13 of 27. Pulaski, 8 of 27. And I think we, you mentioned something good at the halftime break. They've missed some easy ones that they didn't finish. And uh, one for six from three-point line for Pulaski. Just one of three for uh, South. Six turns in seventh. Right? Very clean game, very fast game, Marty. In uh, JV action tonight, Sheboygan South won a very close game, 45 to 40. And uh, the varsity trying to uh, duplicate that win. And uh, good effort by Steedy, but uh, the ball out of bounds. They uh, are pretty quick, Chris. Yeah. And they so like to go for the steals also. You know, you think about that JV game, but one, two, three, four sophomores right here on the varsity plus a freshman. So he. This is going to be a team to watch in the next couple of years, and how about next Friday, too? <laughs> yep. <laughs> we'll see them again. They uh, visit Sheboygan North. And it's going to be a very good basketball team. This, is, this will be one team to watch in years to come. Berlin from way outside the line misses his three attempt. Pulaski down nine. It's 28 to 19. Right now we're operating with one camera. Richard Bartson up on top with us. A shot by Wickman is good to uh, open the second half scoring. He just had five shot attempts in that first half, Marty, and I think the two uh, fouls right away bothered him. Another steal attempt, but uh, it's gonna be thrown out of bounds. But uh, good effort by uh, Kalinski. Well, I got to thank the uh, girls from uh, Pulaski for helping us with the pronunciations. Thank you very much. Well, thank you for your pronunciations. They're next to us. And yeah, cool. Let's see, that's going to be Van Havenhoven picking up the foul, uh, tripping over uh, Ditter. For uh, Tanner, that's his second. That's Speaking of scoring a little bit here, Chris, uh, Taylor Ditter came in averaging 16 a game, was the leading scorer for South. He did not start, and uh, so far has only three points, so uh, nice to get him on track. Yeah, he's just filled one up of, on that lead. Yeah, one of five. And I'll tell you what. Belusky had the right idea, but made a bad pass. 6.25 remaining in the third quarter. Kind of, a, kind of a slow start, especially for the Red Wings. Kind of pace you want if you're a Red Raider, though. That's for sure. Van Lannen has it on the wing. And a good inside feed to Steedy. I thought he shuffled his feet, but apparently not. Three-point attempt by Kalinske is no good. And Berlin with another rebound. Six. I tell you. Just one senior on this squad, and that's Kalinski. That's Murray, you gotta be money. Now Murray took the power dribble to the hoop. The problem was he got himself underneath the basket and made it a very difficult shot. Kevin Dunford? I don't think that's right. Dunford hasn't been in the game yet. Now they're giving it to Kalinske, and uh, that's unfortunate for uh, Jake because now he has three, and we're early in the third quarter. Murray will be on the line trying to get the first points for South in the second half. As I mentioned before, only two free throws had been shot in the first half. South was one for two. Murray makes that first one. Flat on the second, Berlin with his seventh rebound. He'd like to get them to penetrate a little bit if they could, either with the dribble or the pass, instead of just working it on the outside. Did her on a save attempt, and Berlin showing good quickness to keep it from going in the backcourt. And Belusky with another bad pass. Wow. 
I normally don't say this, Marty, but uh, he's got five turnovers. Yeah, that's uh, unacceptable, actually. It's just I mean, I'm not sorry. playing careful. I apologize. Six. <laughs> Forgot the last one. Huh? Well, I just put it on the wrong <laughs> line. But we call people for penalties, so we can kind of take care of the ball a little better. Well, I mentioned, you know, it's been a slow half for uh, Sheboygan South, and uh, they need to get it going here. Well, they got that eight-point lead, which is nice. You know, and the pace is Red Raiders, but they can't find the, the hoop, so things are all right now. Wickman, bango, baby, the left-hander nails a three. I knew when I left a hand, I looked pretty good. Wickman now with uh, 10 points. He had five in the first half. He's got the uh, two-point basket and that three for a second half scoring for uh, Pulaski. I'll tell ya, Riley Tudis just wants to touch the ball once. Well, he's just standing there at the free throw line and yeah. actually he's getting in the way. He needs to move around a little bit more. I will say this, he gets enough shots in the uh, Pulaski guys. <laughs> Trying to Run by. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Only about six or seven of them I've seen in the last two trips. And I think he's just getting, you know, he wants to just touch it once. Just try to get him the ball. He, he's trying to work for it. Does he think he'll throw it up there right away? <laughs> Another turnover by the Red Wings. And uh, Pulaski not able to track it down. Very sloppy here. You know, as compared to the first half when the South played quite well, they uh, are not playing good basketball. All right, everybody, back to the locker room. Come out, let's try again. Yeah, really. Can we start this game over? Sort of. 29-24. Inside feed to Wilson. His shot is blocked by Wickman. Stolen by Ditter. His shot is off, no good. Wilson on the fade. Puts it up and in. Big break for South. Did her with a good steal to keep it uh, in South's possession. And then a lob feed by uh, Van Hevenhoven, and it goes right out of bounds. South will get it right back. And uh, he comes out. Too many turnovers? Grab some bench. They got three turnovers here, and like I said, Coach Shaw wants, you know, basically zero or one. Steedy, I was going to say, Steedy really gets over and covers the uh, baseline on this zone, at least on uh, Ditter's side. He's not allowing him to get a shot. Feed inside by Wilson, and we get a whistle on the rebound. Foul's going to go on Wickman, I believe. That'll be his third. That was Riley's first miss of the night. Six of seven from the floor. He had 10 in the first quarter. Three fouls so far in the second half on Pulaski, none on South. You know, Ditter's a little bit like uh, Tudis. Just let me touch the ball. And it's going up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Give it to Tudis. He's going to shoot. <laughs> Oh, they're making them work, Chris. Great nice pass. In. Yeah, that was a dandy and nice soft touch by Marcus Wilson. He puts it in. Another two points for the big guy. Lusky with a nice pass that time. 33-24. South recaptures that uh, nine-point lead. Wickman, no good. And Wilson up high for the board. Ditter, fake. Shot off the glass is good. And South on a six point run. They now have their biggest lead at 11. 35-24, timeout. Pulaski. It's a full timeout, Kerry, so we can take a short break.
charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? Cody, you have gas. Kerry Coutzer spinning the dials in the truck, helping with the graphics is uh, Eric Wiesman since his camera apparently broke. Richard Barton is up here by us running the uh, lone camera in this operation. Chris Wright is your color man, and I am the play-by-play -play guy. Not Ron Franklin. <laughs> 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 I know what you're talking about, Marty. Yeah. Tell you, 11 points. Marty, watch your mouth. <laughs> Very interesting uh, teams here. You got... Go ahead. You tell them. What? You tell them. What? Matt Horzen. Oh, the Horzens are here? Well, yeah, but what are they doing here? Oh, they're, they're watching just for not next... Here. Yeah, they're watching because North's got to play uh, Pulaski next week. Ooh, foul. A shooting foul. Pulaski will go to the line for the first time tonight. Isn't that exciting? <laughs> I was just going to say, uh, you got uh, Pulaski that averages 51 points a game. They give up 35. South's at 35 right now. South likes to average around 70 points. But they give up 66. So I think the pace is a little bit in between, but favoring South. South, excuse me, Pulaski this year has only been in the 70s once. They've been in the 40s three times, 20s or 30s twice this year. So they're not a big high scoring team, that's for sure. Wickman cans a couple of free throws. Pulaski trying to go baseline hard. He does, but he gets called for the offensive foul. Good help defense that time by uh, Jake Kalinski. Read the drive and uh, got over there. Riley Tudis back in the ball game. Did you know that an offensive foul like that goes as a turnover? I uh, marked it already. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> I don't think we'll be invited over to the uh, Bluskies for uh, dinner anytime soon. Oh, my. What happened there? I missed Travel. It. I wow. Don't, I don't know about that. That was costly. Would have cut the south lead down to seven. And again, south content to uh, not penetrate much. Well, now they got a nine point lead, Marty, and don't be afraid to take a little clock time off, but just take care of the basketball. I've they don't look to score at all. They are yeah. not doing anything. There's rolling down to a minute left. I'm not a big fan of this kind of offense, so I just... Marcus Wilson is uh, lighting it up here late in the first half, in the third quarter. Yeah, he came in averaging 15 a game. He's just at six. He didn't start tonight. Steedy got it, and he's fouled. Dipsy do for the sophomore. Yes, sir. He has four points now, looking for number five if he can uh, make the free throw. Ethan Berlin commits his second foul of the quarter. Van Lannan is number 22 is a freshman. Wow. Yeah, and he, I'll tell you, he fits out there. Yeah, he, he does. He looks good. He's got, uh, you know, he's got eight shot attempts, three for eight from the floor. Boy. Steedy's free throw is long. Berlin, is that number nine now? Eight. Pushes it hard, kicks it out to the corner. The ball is Ooh. tipped away, but uh, Wickman is going to get called for the reach. And uh, that's four fouls on him. Whoa. Yeah, that was not a, actually that was not a good play by uh, Cody. But... Uh, you got to play defense before the ball get you know starts to come in there. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> you didn't looked, like the call. I thought it was pretty clean. 
I think he beat it there. I mean, I didn't even see any movement by the salt player. Wilson, three-pointer off the bench. 40 to 28, 12 point lead. That's the biggest of the ball game. See, and right now Pulaski's in trouble. Yeah, they, their style of play hurts them when they're down. That's for sure. Yeah, they are uh, not a, you know, big comeback team. This was a football team. This is not a good throwing team. That's Van, a freshman. Wow. Van Lannan had a great move at the right before the buzzer and got a good shot up, but it didn't roll in for him. And we're at the end of three, south on top, 40 to 28. Well, the deal was you had to finish your homework first. Okay. Throw your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. Tips on staying involved. Just one of the many ways PTA can help enrich your child's learning experience and life. Join us today. PTA. Every child, one voice. Kenny, and I'm going to tell you the I'm going Bujak, Maria ma, dah hamun gunyo wah. Both has outscored Pulaski in each quarter. 14 to 9 in the first, 14 to 10 in the second, and uh, 12 to 9 in the third. And as a result of that, they are leading 40 to 28 as we start fourth quarter action. Both teams, four and one, pass a little too hard, a little too hot for Kalinske to handle, and uh, South will get it back. Let's hope uh, South gets a little better start to the fourth quarter than they did to the second half. Good comments at the beginning of the game, Chris, by you about you know South needing to uh, be patient in this uh, style of play. And Pulaski is, uh, they, yeah, on the line. Caught Blusky by surprise in the corner. Another turnover. It happened so quick, I didn't know if they were playing a man-to-man -man defense or a trapping zone. Yeah, they got... But they're going to have to do something different, obviously, Pulaski. Yeah. They got 12 turnovers south. Kalinski's shot is blocked by Wilson. Berlin coming away with the loose ball. Blusky fleeds it inside. Wilson glides to the basket for two. Marcus Wilson with 11 points now. Boy, it just got away. <laughs> Steedy from outside the line can't get it to go. And the one thing that's been consistent for Pulaski the entire game, Chris, has been their poor shooting. Inside feed to Kalinski who gets the layup. Timeout by Pulaski. It's a full timeout carry. So we'll take a short break. And there you see the score, south on top, 42 to 30. charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? I just look at Mario at your stuff because it was 21 to 17 South. And now South doubled their output to 42. Way back that it was in the second quarter. And I mean Pulaski just got their 13th point since then. 
You know, that's a long, that's a lot of basketball for 13 points. You're exactly right. Hey, Eric, the next time you put our names up on the screen, see if you can get those in lights. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say bigger, Marty. <laughs> that too. Yeah, Pulaski staying with the zone, Chris. Yeah, they're not gonna change, I don't think. Uh, this is their, this is what they're gonna be doing, so part of this is a learning curve. Inside feed to Tudis, blew the layup. Did get the putback, though. 44 to 30, that equals South's biggest lead of the night at 14. And Havenhoven uh, with the basket on the putback. Pulaski has had uh, several, maybe even more than several, opportunities at what would seem like pretty easy ba or basket attempts and they've blown them. Yeah, when you're talking a low scoring game list like this, you miss three or four of those. You know, that's a difference between a close game. It could be 44 to 40 right now. Ditter open for just a second, nails a three. He likes that spot, Marty. That's a killer. 15 point lead now wow. by the Red Wings. They are uh, pretty much taking them apart, Chris. They've got that zone figured out and uh, Ditter moved just to the right spot, free himself. And ball on the line. Pulaski will keep it. They got 11 turnovers now. Casey Alger Fieser coming in the ball game, number 12. 5-11 remaining in the ball game. Chris really likes this, because now he gets to do an interview. Of course, we don't want to get too quick on this. Shot by Wickman is no good. He's back in the ball game. Uh, coach realizes you can't hold him out too much longer. Down by 15 points. Foul goes on Tudis, his second foul. Only the fourth team foul, both teams sitting with four team fouls. Well, they always look to take that extra pass. Ditter with a steal. He goes in, lays it up and in, and he's fouled by Van Lennon. Good hustle by Ditter. He's getting closer to that average now, Marty. See, seek, and you shall receive. He's got 10 points and uh, hasn't taken a whole lot of shots. They've done a pretty good job on the zone covering him up. He's four of 10, Marty. He's got 10 shots? Yep. Wow, he's a gunner. 50 to 32, an 18 point lead. I guess when you're at 15 and you get a three point play, that's 18, right? Yep. Wilson's four of 10. Tuitus, he's having a great night, he's seven of nine. Kalinski's shot is off. Berlin with a long pass to uh, Ditter. He's looking to score again and does. Oh boy, right around Wickman. Well, Coach Shaw is sitting down. Once Ditter got it out on the break, he was uh, off to the races. There was no stopping him. I think uh, they're going to call a delay of game warning on Wilson. Okay. Or South. Yeah. So they just got to let that ball roll. Maybe it wasn't Wilson, could have been Blusky too. Good hustle. Ditter trying for the steal. He wants to get his average, I'll tell you that. See now this is what I thought that uh, South would have done earlier in the game. Press Pulaski, reason being he wanted to pick up tempo. David Halla, number 24 in the ball game for the first time. Pulaski better get used to this because guess what you're going to see next week, boys. Good help defense by Berlin. 
I think he's got 10 rebounds, Chris, at least. How about 11? Okay. Did her looking? That's a spot. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> We're pulling for you. Steal. Watch this. Oh. Oh, couldn't get it, but he is fouled. Kalinski is going to commit his fourth foul. And Ditter will go to the line to shoot a pair. Turnovers are mounting. Like I said, it was 21 to 17 halfway through the second quarter. South up 52 to 32. Yep. Boy, oh boy. Who'd have thunk it, huh? Full time out, Kerry. Let's take a break and catch our breath. And this is Johnny. We're working with Best Friends Animal Society to stop the suffering of millions of breeding dogs in puppy mills who supply puppies to pet stores. You can help too by not adding to the demand for pet store puppies. When searching for your next best friend, do what I did, adopt. Don't shop. <laughs> Let a shelter dog like Johnny steal your heart. Sometimes I want more information about what's in a video game. Now there's a new way to get rating information along with in-depth rating summaries. Clear shoot lasers from an arm cannon and limbs fly off. Check the rating and use rating summaries anytime and anywhere. And best of all, they're free. Formula One Racing. For more information about the ratings and rating summaries, go to esrb.org slash mobile. That commercial. Lasky down to just 12 of 40 shooting, so they are oh, wow. they are well under 30%. On the flip side, South is starting to really get hot as they are, what, five of six and a quarter, Marty? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh boy, did her. Seven. Air ball. Five of seven and a quarter. So they are uh, 23 of 45, so they're over 50% from the floor tonight. Taylor missed a pair, but Tudis comes away with the uh, sixth rebound for him. With the rebound, and then uh, Berlin got the pass inside and was fouled, attempting the shot, so he'll go to the line to shoot a pair. Ethan has been pretty quiet tonight on the scoring front, but uh, his defense and ball handling have certain, certainly paid big dividends for uh, the Red Wings. He's just two of five from the floor, Marty. Knocks home a couple of free throws. 54-32. They're pretty young out there, Chris. Very. Foul on south. Foul goes on Wilson. He's had a very nice second half, Wilson. Melanthin at the line. He looked pretty smooth on that free throw. Wilson 11 points, four rebounds coming out of the game. Four of 10 from the floor and did her. Woo. Nice second half for him too, just one of five in the first half, but uh, he was four of seven in the second, including a big three. Jake Knuth and Marcus Jones in uh, for South. Knuth just a sophomore, Jake Knuth. Oh, couldn't get the lob pass, or couldn't get the shot in off the lob pass. Good feed by Ethan Berlin. Tudis skying and hung up there for just a second, but uh, like I said, just couldn't quite get it in. See, this is kind of interesting. You put Jake Knuth in, sophomore, and uh, you don't play until you're you know, up by 23 and a half. You know, sometimes you wonder if it'd be better to play with the JVs. Yeah, I hear you. Schrader back in the ball game. Tudis with his 14 points goes out. Shot from the uh, side of the 
top of the circle by Dunford is no good. Pulaski in a man-to-man -man defense. And the cold shooting just continues for these guys. Berlin, nice feed, but he gets fouled on the way. He uh, will go to the line to shoot some free throws. Forty, 14 points. 28, only six points for uh, Pulaski this quarter. Well, Marty, they only have five baskets in the half. Jeez. Ashen Anderson in the ball game, number 25. Berlin can't knock the free throw in and uh, not very happy about it is Mitchell Fox because he'd have been in the ball game had he made the free throws. Shot by Melanthin is no good. Putback is good. Nice basket by Spencer Lonzak. Been waiting to say that name tonight. Yeah, that was. There's another sophomore, Lonzak. Thanks to the girls for that one. <laughs> they didn't bring us any treats though, Marty. No, they come up here munching away and we gotta sit here and watch them. But we'll survive, we'll suck it up. Mitchell Fox in the game. Ooh, be strong with the ball, Mitchell. They get over and back, maybe, oh, five second count. Guarded closely, didn't get the ball away. Don't worry about those red marks on your arm, kid. <laughs> 54-37, south on top. There's 225 remaining in the ball game. Red Wings are gonna go to five and one in conference and uh, eight and three overall. Basket is good by Dunford. And the foul is gonna go on Anderson. No, Coach Schultz ain't getting a lot of love right now. They took his seat away. I see that. <laughs> you like it when all the players kind of slide down, he turns around to look for a spot, there's <laughs> nothing there. Oh, nice feed by Dunford. Inside to uh, Lonzak for an easy two. Oh boy. And all of a sudden, game is getting pretty close. Only a 13 point lead and there's still over two minutes. Remaining exactly 217. I'd get my guys back in there too, Chris. He did. Well, I'm just saying you I thought you were disgruntled that he was. But you're not. Mm -mm. No. Nope. Gotta make sure. Our next ball game will be uh, next Friday. January 14th, uh, Chris had mentioned earlier, it'll be against North uh, versus Pulaski. And uh, we had mentioned uh, Matt Horzen here with uh, handheld camera taking uh, video of the game for scouting purposes for uh, Coach Desitel and his Raiders. This is gonna be a long trip home for uh, Pulaski. Berlin trying to split the double team gets fouled. Yeah, now we've talked about the conference things, Marty, now. Basically what happens is you play everybody in your division twice, you play everybody in the other division once. Why would Pulaski being in the other division have to take both trips to Sheboygan? You'd think they'd play one of the schools at home. Let's rip on them some more. And I one of them on the, on the ro road. I mean, come on. I mean, it's just one Sheboygan. That way Pulaski yeah. has to take one trip to Sheboygan and one of the Sheboygan schools Goes up there and you just flip flop the next year. Yep, instead next year, you know, the both Sheboygan schools will go up there, but hey, uh, hey, uh, which means, you know, and you don't plan that either. You, you know, if you're busing money, you know, now you gotta pay, pay twice the trips to Sheboygan, which is longer and vice versa. Another turnover by the Red Raiders. Uh, Berlin's free throws bumped the lead up to uh, 15, it's 56-41. 
Under two minutes now. And another foul, this one's gonna go against Anthony Sarvello. Ethan's getting used to that line there. He's been there a lot tonight. Especially here in the fourth quarter. He had one, 0 for 1 in the first first half. He had that very first play of the game. And uh, this is a free throw. His free throw shooting has not been very good so far tonight. Tudis with his seventh rebound. Actually, he's uh, 4 for 7. 5 for 7, pardon me. Or is it 5 for 8? Let's go 5 for 8. Oh, five for eight, not that great. 32nd timeout. Red Wings lead it 56, 57 to 41. Well, 30 seconds later, you went from a 13 point lead to a 17, so now you can bring those guys back in. Hey, let's rip on the schedule a little bit okay. again. Uh, our next game after next week, the 21st, <laughs> just to clarify that for our fans, we have uh, De Pere playing at Sheboygan North. That'll be a nice game. And then on Tuesday, January 25th, we're over here at South against De Pere. De Pere. Yeah, two back-to-back -back games, they gotta come to Sheboygan. I mean, that's and you know, when we try to draw up the schedule, we try to arrange it where we see other teams, you know, so we get a feel for what they're like. And it was just a very difficult thing to do. And uh, we wind up seeing Pulaski twice, De Pere twice. Well, De Pere's okay. We could have seen Manitowoc twice, but uh, Kerry wouldn't do that game. <laughs> That wow. very first game of the year, I think it was. But I'll, anyway. I'll be honest with you. Be, that's a good, that De Pere is going to be. Be a fun team to watch. Yeah, that's going to be two great games those days. They're coming down here. You know, that those games I'm glad we got. Jake Knuth uh, being strong with the ball. <laughs> He's getting hammered left and right. And Scott Otten just won't call a foul. See, and Bayport probably both north and south probably have to go up there for both games, which is. Yeah, that's not right either. Yeah. You know, it just makes you wonder. It's not that hard, you know, to give this to somebody and say, here's what we want, you know, and they work on it. I know you talked about doing that in oh, baseball you should see my, years ago. My, I did. I tried to do it, but they did it for me. Like for baseball. Well, yep, now it, they did, but, I mean, in the right, old conference. Right. Um, I tried to, to help this conference, but, I mean, just for baseball, for example, I think my nine games, I have seven of my last nine are on the road. You know, and that mean you know, Craig on the counter, he's home, the south coach here, he's home for those, and next year will flop, and then next year his team will yeah. have to be on the road at the end of the year. I mean, seven of the last nine, can't there be any balance here? I mean, it's, it's a, it could be even worse. It could be like eight out of ten or something. It's, and I know it's tough to schedule 12 different teams and all the different fields and all the things, but basketball, it's not that hard. I mean, because you can always play. That's taken in amongst the big boys. Hala. Couldn't get the basket to go, but he did draw the foul. Foul goes on number 25, Ashen Anderson. Anderson in the uh, pick up three fouls this quarter. Tell you, good job by uh, Coach Schultz and his group tonight. They showed their patience, they played good D. Really shut down the scoring for uh, Pulaski till late here, obviously, but I mean, they did a nice job today and come away with a nice victory at home. They just constantly get better through the year south and uh, last few years, that end of the year has been their thing. Layup is good by Melanthin, and then he gets fouled. He'll go to the line. I'll tell you what, the uh, end of the bench for uh, Pulaski is doing a nice job. They are. I mean, Play hard, they hustle. And this isn't their, you know, this isn't their regulars here. I mean, these are their uh, subs, and they, they're doing very well, and they're very young. Brennan Jilly, number 41 in the ball game for the first time. Get his name mentioned. Look at these. Fox. Mitchell had a great opportunity before to. Uh, oh, that should be an intentional foul. I think they got hooked up by accident, sort of. 
<laughs> Michael says, I, I, I really didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Lonzak is going to go to the line. Barry's one. 57 46 right now. And Pulaski has cut it down to a 10 point deficit. There's uh, 28 seconds remaining. Schrader hanging on to it, and he gets fouled. He'll go to the line. Lonzak commits the foul, and uh, it's been pretty sloppy here at the end. Lots of free throws in the fourth quarter. Twenty-two, including these two by uh, Big Mike. Trader knocks home a pair. He'll get his name in a paper tomorrow. 59-47, 15 seconds remaining. Rainbow three-pointer is no good. Trader with the rebound. Pass the ball, there you go. Two seconds, one second, and that's the ball game. Sheboygan South comes away a winner, 59-47. Good effort by the boys to uh, beat a strong Pulaski team. Pulaski came in eight and one, dropped to uh, eight and two south and improves their record to uh, eight and three and improved their conference record to uh, five and one. We're gonna take a short break when we come back. Chris will have a couple of, uh, of the winning Redmen and uh, Red Wings, pardon me, sorry about that. And uh, I'll be back with some final scoring. See you guys. Your charger's still using energy when it's plugged into the wall, right? Yeah, but uh, that's not my charger. I don't even have a cell phone. Millions of kids are using their energy wisely. What's your excuse? With video games, I'm always choosing between what my kids want and what I think is best for them. Hey mom, how about this one? Which is why I love these new rating summaries. They let me know exactly what's in the game. Combat, explosions, two female warriors, exposed cleavage. Uh, maybe the other one's better. Yeah. Get your free game rating summary today. And with it, the world's most powerful weapon, knowledge. Sector's clear, Captain. Seems that way. But they're here. We have an intruder. I thought you guys were cleaning out here. Oh, we are. We're, uh, sweeping. Yeah, for space aliens. Yeah, for space aliens. Well, oh, good luck with that. Imagine what a little time can do for your family. And now, another adventure with Savings Man. Oh dear, I can't afford that. Charge it. You can pay it off later. Not so fast, credit card guy. Savings Man. Don't let him entice you, ma'am. Credit card guy can lead you to big trouble. You need a savings plan. You're right, Savings Man. Get this ballpark estimate worksheet at ChooseToSave.org. It will help you get started. Gee, thanks, Savings Man. No, thank you. So visit ChooseToSave.org and get your ballpark estimate today. I love my husband, but I didn't realize our difficulties had to do with his drinking. Our pastor suggested I go to Al-Anon family groups. I didn't think I would be comfortable, but I decided to try a meeting. The Al-Anon meeting really opened my eyes. Are you troubled by someone's drinking? You might be surprised at what you could learn in an Al-Anon family group meeting from people just like you. Call
Here we are with uh, two Red Wings all dressed up, looking sharp as they always do. Uh, let's talk about Pulaski a little bit, Thomas. They are uh, really a very patient team, and you must have had, you know, play good defense and, you know, really take your time on defense and doing all the right things. I think you guys did a nice job with that tonight. Yeah, we practiced on that, like, all week. We just went over their stuff, made sure we were ready for it. Yeah, they they're really like to slow it down. I mean, they're averaging 50 points a game and giving up just 37. And, you know, I thought tempo was important, and I thought you guys really control that. And, you know, like their big leading scorer and stuff like that, you shut him down as well. Yeah, we uh, just worked as our team D and shut them all down. Now, considering yourself, I know that one of the things they did against you guys was, was uh, try to zone a little bit, and you got yourself open underneath the basket quite a bit tonight, which is, you know, kind of what the game plan is supposed to be. Yeah, that's actually uh, where the ball is going to come most of the time in that kind of zone they were playing. Yeah, and it looked, seemed to work out really good. You had a lot of easy looks, otherwise you kicked it out, and then well, Riley had a great first half, six for six or something like that. But, you know, it looked like they got it to you, and then you made the nice, simple passes. Yeah, that's how it went. <laughs> well, congratulations to that to you. Ethan, let's talk about the team a little bit. You guys continue, just win basketball games. I, I think something you want to do is build consistency. I know you tough loss last week, but you guys just keep winning games. Yeah, uh, we take it, you know, one game at a time. This is a really tough conference, so you can't overlook any opponent. So you have to, you know, just get prepared every game. You have to get up for every game, too, no matter the record. Like, it was easy to get up for tonight. You know, they came in with the state ranking. You know, only had one loss in conference in the whole season. So you just got to take one game at a time, and right now we're rolling, and we want to keep it rolling, hopefully. Well, I think the score was 21 to 17, guys, and it ended up, you know, 59-47. But you went on, you know, you only gave up like 13 points in like 15 minutes or something. You guys just definitely took control, especially in the second half. Yeah, we knew uh, what they tried to do. They're trying to run the flex offense, and we really emphasized in practice like certain areas where we could take that away, like on the initial pass up to the, you know, the, the elbow and the screen across, and you know, gutting up the screen. And we just knew the spots that we could take it away, and you know, we did that tonight. I think you did. I think a couple of times you got out there and just missed some plays. So you're right. You guys did do a nice job there. And again, you know, you got to watch those back, you know, back door cuts and things like that. And I thought you guys, as a team defense, did that tonight. Yeah, I mean, that's what we were hoping to do. We we were hoping to get a little more steals than we had. Like you said, we you know just missed on a few, but I mean, we still had a lot. Taylor, you know, Taylor Ditter had a lot of steals, a lot of fast break uh, layups that really energized us. As did Riley. You know, we were just hoping to pick our spots so where we could get the steals and, you know, where we could pressure some guys, and we did it tonight. I know this is just a recurring theme, but you guys have such a nice team effort. You got, you got like, nine guys that are averaging six points or five and a half points or more again, and just contributions every night by so many guys. We know that any night, any given night, anybody can come on and do it. We know, you know, we have that many guys scoring that many points. Anybody can do it any given night. And we rely on each other, and nobody, you know, gets mad at each other if, you know, they didn't score that many points that night and the other guy, you know, went off. But, you know, we like to keep it as a team, and, you know, we get out there and score a lot of points. Another thing, it seems like now you're into January here, and one thing I know with Coach Schultz, it seems like as the year goes on, you guys get better, and now that it's January, it, you, you can see it, that's for sure. Yeah, it's uh, Coach Schultz, that's time to go on our, our run like we do at the end of every year, and we're going to start going on our run right now and, you know, hopefully win as many games as we can in a row. Yeah, well, you guys are right there. You're right in there for the uh, conference championship with that. Good luck the rest of the season, Ethan, and we'll see you in a couple weeks against the pier. With that, we'll uh, send it back to Marty. Final score was 59-47 to 47 South. Uh, the score doesn't really indicate that the South had the game well in hand. Uh, late in the third, fourth quarter, South had a 54-32 to 32 lead. Uh, let that dwindle down to uh, 10 before uh, finishing with a 12-point victory. Leading the uh, Red Raiders of Pulaski was Cody Wickman with 12. Spencer Lonzak off the bench had 7. And Luke Van Lannen and uh, lone senior on the team, Jake Kalinske, chipped in with 6. Sheboygan South was led by Riley Tudis with 14 points, 10 of those coming in the first quarter. Taylor Ditter scored most of his points late. He had 13 points. Also scoring quite a bit late was Marcus Wilson. He had 11 and uh, Ethan Berlin chipped in with uh, nine points. Again, Sheboygan South, a winner, 59 to 47. Pulaski's record drops to uh, eight and two, four and two in conference. Sheboygan South improves to eight and three and five and one in conference. Our next basketball game is going to be on Friday, January 14th, when again, Pulaski comes to Sheboygan, they're going to play Sheboygan North that night. 
For the crew, Carrie Kautzer, our director, Richard Bartson up here keeping us company on the top camera, Eric Wiesman splitting time between uh, graphics and camera. For my partner, Chris Wright, I'm Mike Martin saying thanks for watching, everybody, and we'll see you down the road.